Hello, spellcasters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the fourth episode of our Find Familiar series. Uh, today we're going to be... Oh, actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we move on, I just want to make a note that this is not intended for kids. Um, it's a YouTube thing. It's not a you thing. I do apologize. That being said, today we're going to be taking a look at the frog. Hippity hoppity, that kind of stuff. I really like this one personally. When I was a kid, I used to love frogs. So maybe I'm a little bit biased, but to me, this works really well with kind of an outcast kind of wizard. You know, pick the hermit background, stuff like that. Raised in swamps or even a lizard folk, I could really see using a frog. I mean, I guess the lizard would be a little bit better for him, but whatever. Neither here nor there. I just really like it. I think it's cool to... Yeah, I just think it's cool. Anyways, let's move on to the stats here. It has an AC of 11, one hit point calculated by a die 4 minus 1. I'd roll that. Why not? See what you can get. Um, two different speeds, a 20-foot walk speed and a 20-foot swim speed. So very similar to the crab. Um, however, far better at dexterity. Very poor in the way of strength, very poor in the way of charisma, and very poor in the way of intelligence, but at least it's a plus one to its dexterity, which is really good. Uh, it does have two skills as well, a plus one to perception and a plus one to, or plus three to stealth. So that's really good, really stealthy. It also gets dark vision up to 30 feet and a passive perception of 11. Uh, that dark vision is going to be really helpful. I just put it on my shoulder and at night I just look through its eyes. I think that would be pretty fair. Uh, give yourself kind of free night vision goggles basically. Um, it can breathe in air and water, so that's super great for those scouting uh, missions involving um, riverways, right? And it also gets standing leap, which is super good when you think about it. Uh, so its long leap is up to 10 feet, right? And its high jump is up to 5 feet. Um, so what that basically means is it can kind of hop in, onto windowsills and into homes relatively undetected like frogs are quite small so now I really think that's good if you combine that kind of method with a, its high stealth uh, I think there's a really really great use for this uh, in any case if you have any alternative uses any great schemes or any kooky things involving the frog uh, please let me know down in the comment section beneath I really appreciate talking with you guys, and I'm looking forward to see what you can come up with. Uh, that being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, happy casting.